Hey everybody. Okay, so you guys, I can't tell you how excited I am. I didn't use my satin cap thing and I didn't use my scarf thing. I just slept on a satin pillow. I don't like I wouldn't even need okay, if I weren't so obsessive and like have to do my refresh routine again because I love it, I wouldn't even do anything to my hair right now. Like, that's crazy. Okay, I don't know if this like happens, like as you go along your journey, if like you just wake up one day and are like, hey, I don't have to refresh today. What, who's ever, I mean, I know people do that, but not me, not my hair, my hair, oh my goodness. So you guys, yay, okay. On your journey, on your hair journey, Y'all, sometimes you're just gonna wake up and fun things are gonna happen and you're gonna have an amazing hair day. So if you're having a bad hair day right now, just hold on. Okay, so for my refreshed routine, um, someone found the video. Okay, I was up at like midnight. It was like 12.30 and I'm like scrolling hours yesterday looking for this video. <sighs> Apparently it was on Instagram, but they posted it on Facebook. It was in the comments even. So the reason I saw it, um, somebody had posted about putting in product upside down because happened to me when I would put my products upside down, my hair would end up staying like this, right? Or like stuck to my head like this and I'd have to like peel it all down, right? Look at this volume, you guys. I'm gonna have bedhead every day now. Um, and so I was like, oh my gosh, that's me. Well, someone in the comments was like, Watch this video, it saved my life. I'm like, I need to save my life, I need my life saved, right? I don't know if that's actually what she said, but oh my gosh, I was like, I need that. So I watched the video, of course, because that's what I do. And as I was watching her, loving her accent, by the way, I was like, yeah, I don't know that my hair can do that because I would be a frizzy mess, okay? I'm gonna do this and talk at the same time. This is just water. Um, I know, I kind of feel like I'm like doing something really bad by wetting all of this, but I don't even care because I'm so excited about this, okay? So as I watched the video, I was like, no way. Like my hair is gonna be a frizzy mess. There's just no way. I saturate it a lot, okay? So um, some people can do just kind of like a spritz and a whoop whoop. My hair frizzes like crazy if I try to do that. So I can't do that. I gotta get it pretty darn saturated. And then just wet all this, get in here. Um, so then the next day I woke up and I didn't have anything to do. So I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna really refresh my hair or anything. Um, and I didn't completely look like a horrible mess. So I didn't, then I realized, okay, I work in the colleges. Um, I interpret sign language. And it's a night class, which is more professional, right? Um, usually. Um, and it's a freaking medical terminology class. So hello, medical professionals or people going into the medical profession. So I'm like, okay, I can't go with like serious bedhead, right? So I'm like, well, I saw that refresh routine. Why not try it now, right? Cause I try things at really inappropriate times, right? Like right before you're gonna go to work, try something new, but I did. And you, if you saw my post yesterday, it was awesome. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, so that is why I tried it yesterday and it ended up really, really good. So um, the lady who um, posted it, her name might be Romy, something power Romy maybe on Instagram, okay. Um, now see the clumps are still pretty much intact when I wet it like this and I'm not gonna break those up, okay. I'm gonna keep everything like it is. Okay, so it is pretty, pretty wet. It's not dripping wet, but pretty wet, okay? This is what she did. Okay, now shout out to Erica because, first of all, she's the one that introduced me to Uncle Funky's, right? Hers was one of the first of thousands of posts I saw, and I'm like, gotta get that. Got the curly magic, okay? Also conditioning bomb, Erica again, okay? So she is the one I have been doing curly magic and then leave-in. It does 
there's a definite, definite difference. Okay. Um, I was doing the leave-in and then, oh, it is dripping a little bit. See, it's pretty wet. Okay. And then during the, cur doing the curly magic on top of that, when I applied the curly magic, I just do one pump. Okay. That much. When I applied the curly magic, it does feel a little dry. Like I felt my hair de a definite difference. Okay. So she suggested doing Uncle Funky's first and then the leave-in. So it adds the moisture back in once this flash dries your hair. Okay. This is what the video said to do. Okay. Does it upside down. Okay. So it's fully wet. This is the roping. Okay. She, I think did like six sections. I don't have much hair back here. So I would, if I had a full long head of hair, I would do three sections in the back. So I would rope these ones and then rope the middle. I don't. So I'm just going to do the front. So basically she just separated it. This is one rope, right? So then she just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I have the product in my hand. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze down the rope. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze down the rope. Okay. So all the product is in there. And then she does this. Ready? <laughs> so weird. Okay. Pulls, pulls, pulls. Can you hear that? It's kind of gross. Okay. And then this side. Pulls, pulls. I feel like those, um, those 80s workout videos. And pulls. And pulls. Anyway, okay, so she pulses like that, gently goes to the side, pulse, and pulse. Okay, pulse. So this totally alleviates the hair sticking to your head. Gently go to the other side, and pulse, and pulse. Or maybe I need some, what is that? I'm not cool enough, what, EDM music? Okay, all right, and pulse. Okay, and look already, you can see the clumps and the curls already on point, right? Okay, so now, leave in just a little bit. I have super short hair, so I don't put a lot in. Okay, and we're gonna put this in the same way. Okay, so we're gonna go down one rope, down the other rope, down the middle, okay? Now, what she also said was, and pulse. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, so what she also said, which totally made sense to me, she can't do any sort of praying hands or all of this that she's doing or that she did um, would just straighten it out. And that totally happened with my hair, right? I prayed hands and it went straight again and then I crunched it up again. But I was undoing everything I just did. Go to the other side, pulse it. Pulse it. Okay. Um, now the flax. Okay. Gel. So I have my flaxseed gel. I know there's probably a better way to store it, but what are you gonna do? Okay. Gotta really emulsify it in my hands because this stuff is slimy. Okay. Now this was also super hard to put in my hair, especially with any sort of praying hands or anything, because it it's so like goopy. It immediately just straightened everything. And with this way, right, go down the ropes. Make sure you're getting it in there. Make sure I get it back here. Back here I can just mess it all up because it's just so short. Okay, and then you pulse. I'm gonna get a little bit more. This stuff is so gross and I love it. Okay, so, you just I know I'm a super busy mom. I don't have a ton of time. And so I had stopped making flaxseed gel and I was just using the Bioterra and the Aussie Instant Freeze, which was okay. Those things worked good, but you guys, nothing. Does that kind of sound gross? Is this grossing people out? Um, nothing worked like the flaxseed gel. It makes it soft. It has great hold like throughout the day. Obviously you saw I woke up this morning and it was still, right? It still had good hold. Okay, so you guys doing it this way, nothing is stuck to my head. Okay, so you do it forward first, pulse it all in there to get all the product in there real good, and then go to one side. So anything that was stuck back there, it unsticks. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna diffuse this out 
and I will be back. Okay, just a few diffusing tips, okay, to get a little more volume. What I will do, so I diffuse mostly up and down, kind of the same pattern that I did the pulsing. Okay, so I'll do it here. I'll hold it for like 30 seconds. I mean, sometimes I get impatient and I just keep going, but it's better if you hold it for longer. Um, so don't be impatient like me. Um, but then when I get it up there, okay, I will just tweak it a little bit, okay, um, and hold it there. And I tweak it the opposite way that my hair is going to fall, okay? And that kind of just gives it a little lift. So for example, my hair is dry, it parts to the side here. So when I diffuse it, I put it up here, it parts to this side, so I tweak it this way and it kind of just lifts the roots up a little bit. And I don't do it too much because you don't want to cause frizz. Um, and same for over here, as it's on, right? I'll just tweak it a little bit. And then hold it. Okay, so um, might be a little trick if you want to try to get a little more volume. Um, I do have root clips as well, um, and sometimes I will do that. Um, but I think this helps just as I'm diffusing it, just to give it a little more oomph. So I'm gonna keep diffusing. Anyone else just get super impatient <laughs> while you're diffusing? <laughs> I remember when, when I was little, my grandpa had like a floor heater, right? So part of it was on the floor and then part of it was up on the wall and he'd sit just like on top of it. He gets cold just like I am. I'm in Huntington Beach, right? I'm freaking cold. It's like 74 degrees today, which is cold for here, okay? Um, but I remember putting my hair over that and like drying my hair that way. And I remember it drying so quickly. I might need to get like a floor heater installed in this. Anyway, I don't know, do some squats while you're diffusing. What do you guys do? I don't know. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Coffee break. It's hot, man. It is not freaking cold anymore. Very hot. And back we go. Okay, I am done diffusing. We got a good cast going on. Um, some of you have asked if the flaxseed gel um, gives a good cast and you know you have a good cast when you can hold it up and it sticks straight up in the air. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the only gel I have on is the flaxseed gel. I did put in obviously the Uncle Flunky's Curl Magic before the leave-in, so there is that in there as well and that does give me um, a little bit of a cast, but um, for, you know, for casts like, like this, that just like, bing, um, the flaxseed gel does really good for me. So um, it does give me a good cast. Now, a little skincare tip, just because skincare is kind of my jam. Um, when I get in the shower, okay, I'm really bad, and I didn't wash my face today, um, because I was so excited to do this refresh that I didn't even hop in the shower. So I'm a stinky mess today. <laughs> um, now you all know. But um, when I do, I'll hop in the shower, I will wash my face, <clears throat> excuse me, before I do anything with my hair. Okay, that's the first thing I'll do. And then I'll do my hair and everything will get on my face. But I've already got the anti-aging properties, everything I need in my skin. So all that is still there. I'll get out of the, I'll do my hair, everything I need, put all my products in, diffuse it fully, okay? Once I do that, I'll come in with a cleansing cloth, okay? Any kind of cleansing cloth, cloth will work as long as it is not the kind that you have to um, rinse off. So if it's kind that kind of has like um, soap in it and then you wash it and then have to rinse it off, that kind won't work because it defeats the purpose. Um, so just any kind of cleansing cloth and then I'll just get in. After all my product, I've washed my hands already because I have been doing this with my hair. So wash my hands, um, I'm done with my hair. I'm not gonna be touching it anymore. Um, I will be touching it to scrunch out the crunch, but um, I'm not gonna be adding anything else that can get on my face. So once I'm at this step, I will just go in and just take a cleansing cloth, makeup removing cloth, whatever, and just get all that product off. I didn't shower today, so let's just do this. I'm not gonna put that on my face again. <laughs> 
Okay, um, so just a little tip for you. I know I was really um, having a problem with just pr feeling like I still have junk on my face. And then having to like, what I was doing before was just rewashing my face, but then I'd have to like mess up my hair. It was just a mess. So I found that this works really well. And then once I, once I do the um, cleansing cloth, that's when I'll put my creams and eye cream on to make me look like I'm not a tired mess, which I actually am. Um, so that's when I'll do all of that. Okay. So, um, just a little tip so that hair product doesn't, um, stay on your face. It stays in your hair. All right. Now to scrunch out the crunch. You guys, I lost my lube. I have no clue where it is, but, um, I don't think I'll need it. I will use my little scarf thingy. Okay. I think it's dry enough. I'm always so impatient and I always scrunch out the crunch too soon. And when I do that, which, crap, pretty sure this is too soon. So it might look a little wet right now. What I'm gonna do, I always do that, I'm so impatient. Um, I'm gonna scrunch this out. Okay, and I'm just coming in and scrunching it. Okay, I got a good cast, so it's like, I gotta scrunch this out pretty good. Okay, so as you can see, it's good definition, not a lot of frizz, you guys. This is day, what did I say, day four? This is day four. I don't usually go to day four, okay? So, I'm thinking that with these products and this technique, I might have found a winner. So, I'm gonna scrunch this out. And it is, it is still, wah, wah. okay, it's still a little wet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with the diffuser and I'm gonna actually dry it out. And let's cross our fingers that it doesn't frizz it. We'll see. Okay, so it didn't make it too much of a frizzy mess, but just in case, just be more patient than I am and let your hair dry fully. <laughs> But you guys, this is day four refresh, okay? It's got a ton of volume, more on this side, but that's because there's more hair on this side. Um, good definition, little, little frizz. But you guys, I think I found a winner in this method. So um, I'm going to post the, um, the video that I watched um, the lady that did this method because somebody found it, like I said. Um, so I'm going to post that in this video too. She's got longer hair so you can see how she does it with longer hair as well. So it works. Um, obviously it works for short hair, um, but it also works for longer hair because her hair looked, um, great and she did it wonderfully. So yeah. All right. Hope this was helpful. If you have questions, anything like that, let me know. Bye. Have a great day.